Jesus being a great doctor he has been and uh, he has uh, inspired uh, so many professionals uh, in India and he brought uh, uh, India to the world of man. Uh, over the years, this tournament has really grown in strength, you know, and over the last four years, it's been uh, the fourth year and it's been a wonderful uh, tournament and you can find out the headlining issues that we had. Uh, I think playoffs in the last three years in succession. Uh, we are also uh, very happy to you know, be associated with the playing spirit of social responsibility and uh, <clears throat> as, as a as a as a bearer to that, uh, I think the tournament at the case of time to win the last game uh, and encourages the players to carry their own bottles. Uh, it's also the wake of COVID-19, you know, a lot of uh, players uh, did uh, send us videos on safety and I think that's very important in this time. And uh, I think we are extremely happy to have uh, a big field of you know, domestic and international players and uh, we'd like to thank Jeev, the GGI, the Chandigarh Golf Club uh, for hosting us you know, in the last three years and, and, I, and I, I especially thank the media for uh, supporting us through the years and you know, sending us and uh, giving us a lot of impact in the stories. Have a good day, thank you. So that was a message from Mr. D. Vasu who has sent him six posts which have been the driving force behind this event. I would now request Mr. Okan Sigman, he is CEO of PCI to kindly raise the opening address. He really has been the captain of the ship as far as getting PCI back on track after COVID. Gentlemen on the head table, ladies and gentlemen, a very good afternoon to you all. Firstly, thank you all for being here at the press conference of the interesting invitations presented by David. Uh, it's great to be back and uh, to especially have an event in Chandigarh. Uh, last year, when COVID did hit, we started the tour from Chandigarh and I guess uh, would not have been possible without the support of all our sponsors, our partners who have actually stood by us in thick and thin, like Tala Steel, Rolex, uh, Cross Plus, and Athletic Drive at that point in time. And now, of course, we've added on uh, two new new partners, American Express and Amal Ranji which actually goes to build uh, the PGTI and make it stronger. Uh, a special thanks to Mr. Srinivasan, who actually done a lot for Indian golf. His support to professional golf goes a long way. And for promoting this event, putting this event in place, and of course, the title that is to my friend Jeev is, uh, is fantastic, especially for my for Jeev here who has been traveling and he's only come back just for this week just to be here for his own event. This is one of the most prestigious events that we have on our tour, which of course uh, is the prize money which is uh, 1.5 crores but more importantly is the, the entry that it draws and that is also one is of course for prize but that is due to uh, Jeev's presence at the tournament at his own event where we have all the top stars sitting on the left and right. Shiv Kapoor, SSP Jersia, Jyoti Rantawa, and uh, to name a, a, a number of them. I mean, they're all here, especially for this particular event. So for us, this is one of the, the biggest and the strongest weeks uh, in our tour. Uh, of course, we start to go off, and of course, with the support of our sponsors, we do need the support of the golf club. And I'd like to especially thank Chandigarh Golf Club. They were the first ones to come on board last year in, with the, right after COVID. And I know the kind of pressure that they faced with uh, all the membership because the course is shut for those two days. So, uh, Ravi, thank you very much. Uh, Arvind, thank you very much for your support because that goes a long way. Uh, well, I can say that the golf course is in fantastic shape. I'd like to compliment uh, the captain, Alvin. Thank you very much. It's actually in great shape considering the kind of rain that it received this year. Uh, I think uh, you and your team of people, I think, uh, headed by another friend of mine, Amit Pilasing, who looks after the golf course, a fantastic job done. I think uh, the players are all in praise of the golf course, and I'm sure that you will hear and you'll get more comments after the game from yourself, from all these particular players who play. But I'm sure uh, Karandeep and Kavindeep will probably fill you in with uh, how the, the boss is playing. And so will Jeep, because they've already played uh, the practice 
account, so I'm sure that they will do a good job in telling you what it's like. But I can just give you a little, a big perspective on that. Um, we've done a number of tournaments starting in September, and we're going up till, uh, till December. And uh, like I said, that this being one of the premier tournaments, we definitely look forward to a great finish. We have this event has always had a great finish. Uh, ending off with a playoff, of course, is very enthralling and uh, to the players, to the uh, spectators, but I'm sure it's the otherwise for the players. But uh, we look forward to a, a great tournament. And uh, thank you very much once again. I would also like to, before signing off, there are a few additional sponsors this particular week. So I'd like to thank all of them for coming on board. Uh, good up. Can you hear me? Uh, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Firstly, I would like to thank uh, Take, Mr. Srinivasan, for making this event happen. I'm humbled by the honor he's given me for making this event go through for the fourth time. I need to thank the Chandigarh Golf Club, Ravi Deer, the president, and his team for giving us the golf course. The members of Chandigarh Golf Club being accommodating enough to give the golf course to the professional golfers for a week and coming out and cheering everybody out here. PGTI, Mr. Upam Singh Mundi and his team for making sure the tournament is run in a very smooth manner. All the professional golfers for coming out and supporting this event. I'd like to thank them. It would have not been possible and wouldn't be successful without these boys. And I would like to wish them all the best in the future and also for this event. Please go out there, give it your best, have fun, and show some good golf. And in the end, I would like to thank the media for supporting this event for so many years. Uh, I appreciate that, and hopefully we can keep it going in the future. And also, before I sign off, uh, I would like to thank my parents for introducing me to this game. And today I'm here because of them. And uh, I'm able to follow my dream, and they gave me the right guidance. And I'm, I'm sure they're looking out for me today. Thank you. Thank you, sir. I would now request Mr. Ravi Deep Singh, President of the Chamber of Commerce, to please go to the rest of the gallery. Good afternoon. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the Managing Committee of the Chandigarh Golf Club, it is my pleasure to welcome you all here this afternoon. It is a matter of great privilege for us to hold the Jeev Milka Singh Invitational 2021 presented by Take Sports. As you are aware, this is the fourth edition and we would like to especially thank Mr. Jeev Milka Singh, Take Sports, Mr. Uttam Mundi and his team from PGTI, along with all other sponsors, for hosting one of these most revered tournaments on the Indian professional golfing calendar. While sticking around with the course today, I was extremely pleased to hear some fulsome praise for the golfing conditions by all the professionals I met. The golf course is in fantastic condition and I'm sure we will have some great scores over the course of the tournament. In fact, only recently, when we hosted a ladies professional golf tour event, a new course record of 65 was set by Ms. Amandeep Draw. Finally, we lost one of our most respected and revered members, Mr. Milka Singh, earlier this year. The program event has been dedicated to this legend. Thank you all for being here. We look forward to your support through the rest of the tournament. And please enjoy the hospitality of Chandigarh Golf Club. Thank you. Thank you, sir. I will now request 
They're all going to be playing against each other. There's a in the four rounds. Yes. What what tends to happen is in, in tournaments such as these, 
the first round has a you have a draw, then you have a second, then you have a cut. So the leaders in the tournament for tee off last in the last round. So that's when they all get to play together. I think that's what you're what you're asking. Uh, The thing is, uh, 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 everything actually depends on the sponsor. So, what are the weeks available for the sponsor or convenient for them to host an event? So, uh, I, I do remember that in uh, the last year was much later when we did start. But this year, unfortunately, this was the particular week that was, uh, uh, I think, convenient for them as well. In the field side also. I understand that. So, I mean, we have a tour championship which is in December, which is, of course, we, that event cannot uh, move because that's the grand finale. But uh, uh, this particular event, we have a field of 132. So, if we have this any later than the week that is there this week, the, uh, the daylight hours are less. So the field automatically starts reducing and next, uh, next month we won't have a field more than 100. So we end up losing 30 odd less. So the north we have a bit of an issue with the, the light, and especially with the fog coming in and it becomes more of an issue. So we've 
we've uh, had this, uh, we had plastic free the last year, but uh, this year again, keeping the last two weeks that we've had, we've been supplying water, and that's one of the reasons that we plan to just keep it on in December. Hopefully, by that time, things will get a lot better and we can have that in place. So, by next year, you, uh, are you uh, some kind of an undertaking that by next year you will start a plastic free? If things uh, are back to normal. Yes, that we did. I mean, there were certain restrictions which we had, uh, which we faced, but uh, we did manage that. But there were uh, there were issues, so we didn't want uh, uh, it further raised. So that's one of the reasons that we decided to go ahead again with uh, Jaipur and continue with uh, Chandigarh. The same thing is what we continue all the way till end of the year. Uh, 
this year. But uh, talking about the condition, I think failures are in great shape. Uh, rough is up some, uh, on, on some places, but uh, greens are rolling through. Greens are absolutely fine. They're much better than what uh, what we played actually last month. So uh, I definitely see a lot of low numbers. It's not easy. Uh, you know, uh, I think on the European tour, like Greenspan has played there for so many years, the golf courses, uh, in terms of length, they are, they are very long, and then the conditions. Because, you know, when you play in countries like, let's say, UK or France or um, Belgium, uh, Netherlands, it's so cold. You know, your 9 iron sometimes goes like 110, 120 in the morning. And here, when you, when you come into India, you know, you, here your 9 iron goes 155 yards. So there's a, there's a big uh, advantage when you when you're coming back to the to the Indian tour, especially in Asia, and um, I feel that is that is the that is the mark of a mark of a champion. You know, as as long as you can get used to with the tradition change, you know that makes you a better player. So that's what I'm trying to improve this time. My question to you is, uh, you know, you're the only player who won on continent in Europe. You're the only player who won the World Championship. Why is that we are unable to produce a player of that quality? I mean, it's way on the rails. We all know, you know, we are very close angles in the Croatian and the European tour, fine. You know, we are in the Asian tour, we can. But what about the pure tournaments? You know, you win in mainland Europe against Nicholson and against Daniel Cabrera, you go and win in Japan for the tour championship. But what is there that you think that the Arsenal has made to get to that level? I think. Uh I was going to answer this question. I would say our players have everything in them. I think they just need to get there and play more tournaments in those conditions. And once they get used to those conditions, they build on that confidence and they get used to those conditions. Then after that, that week, if it's a big week, they just treat it like another week and they can win. And that's how I won. If I was going to talk about myself, I just got used to the conditions. And I was fortunate enough, or maybe the golfing gods were looking out for me. Uh, the big tournaments or tour championships, I used to push myself in those championships. And uh, I just basically said that I've got an opportunity to win a major championship on that tour. And it happened for me. But if I speak for all the players coming out of India, I think the talent is amazing. I think it's fantastic. It's great to watch all of these boys are hitting the ball more than 300 yards. They're good enough to play on any tour in the world. Uh, they're hungry. They have the right work ethic, the desire to win. It's just those, it's golf is such a game that if it clicks that week, you win. And I think uh, you stay positive, you stay mentally strong that week, and they can do it. Yoga. yoga. I believe in yoga. yoga. It calms your mind and I think golf uh, is uh, quite a bit mental game. So I think uh, if you do yoga, it helps you to stay flexible, uh, mentally strong. So I think I would recommend they should do yoga. I cannot 
cannot comment on them on, on their behalf. So uh, I would I would say that uh, you know Gagan may like a player who has a different kind of game. Uh, Karandi may like somebody else. So I think it's up to every professional is a individual and he makes his choice whoever he likes. So my choice was Fred Couples and I think you can ask them what their choices are. <laughs> Uh, no, I haven't, but uh, I, if anybody who can do it, it's time. Because what he's done and what he's done for the game of golf, and he's proven himself week in, week out, he's mentally so strong. I think if he has to come over all these injuries and what's happened in his life, I think he can do it. Number of surgeries he's had. Number of surgeries also he's had. So I think. I'm sure he's working out with his physiotherapist. I won't be surprised if he comes back next year, mid or end of the year, because he's mentally so strong and he has that desire to come back. But do you think uh, for next season, 18 majors will be the main only player for golf? I never say. If, like in golf, they say you never know till the last part is home. So I think you never know till the time. He, he's playing, you never know if he's going to win those 18 majors or more. But uh, if he decides to back up, then it's different. But I, I will not uh, write him off right now. Uh, Nitin, come here. Nitin, come here. And give him the mic. Yeah. Within the 
Indian dynamics with uh, you know with regard to companies and stuff. A lot of companies have had had a setback. They've suffered. So it all depends. Yeah, it all and like I said, it all depends on the sponsorship. If the sponsor is willing to uh, cough up that kind of cash, then of course. Any more questions? Thank you.